Welcome back to my channel friends. It's time to go thrifting together again today. Our first stop is going to be Goodwill and I'm looking for pieces to use to refresh our home for the new year. I have lots of new ideas and things that I'm on the hunt for that I want to use to update some spaces with this year. One of those being framed artwork and paintings. I also want to find some more unique glassware. So let's get thrifting and see what we can find. I also wanted to introduce myself to you in case you are new. I know a lot of you are new here since my last video that I posted. Thank you so much for being here and joining me. My name is Miranda. I live in Kentucky. So all of my thrifting videos, I'm thrifting in the South Central Kentucky area. I love to thrift and collect vintage pieces for our home. And I also just recently opened an antique booth to share some of my finds in. And that has been so fun to decorate and get to style with pieces that we have curated. My husband loves to thrift with me as well. We love to find pieces together for our home and for our booth. We love the hunt and the history that the pieces have that we find. We have lived in the home that we're in now for five years. We moved in when I was 19, about to turn 20, and I'm now 25. It's crazy how fast it's flown by. But I began sharing the process of decorating our home with vintage finds right after we moved in five years ago, and I have been sharing the journey ever since. This is what I really love to do. I'm now also in school for interior design, so I'm excited to grow and evolve even more in my decoration this year and also continue to bring you all home decorating and thrifting inspiration and continue to bring you along for the process of decorating our little home and making it a space that we love so if that is something that you are interested in and if you love vintage cottage inspired interiors then I'd love to have you join us here now let's get to thrifting Now, I mainly keep my thrifting focused on all things home related. However, I do love to browse through the clothing as well. I try to thrift the majority of my clothing and you all seem to really love when I've shared clothing in my thrift hauls in the past. So I wanna sprinkle that in some more this year too and share with you clothing pieces that I find from time to time. So stay tuned for more thrifted clothing trials in the future. I also looked through the purses and bags because since finding my Dooney and Burke wallet on my last thrift trip, that has inspired me to check out the accessories more as well. Okay, our next stop is St. Teresa's Thrift Store. Another thing that I'm going to be looking for while I'm out thrifting is small antique furniture to go in our booth. And this little table here caught my attention right away. It's a little sewing table and the bottom has a drawer to hold the thread. I thought this was adorable. It would make the perfect side table with storage or just the perfect piece to, of course, hold all of your sewing supplies. It just needs a little love. And I loved these prints. These would be gorgeous framed and I was also so excited to finally spot some tiny little butter pats these were only 29 cents each Look at these ribbed glasses. I will talk more about these later on in the video because I did bring these home, but they are vintage and made in Italy. I'm obsessed with these and so excited to add them to our collection. And then here's a look at our cart. I did decide to get the sewing table to add to our booth. I know that so many of you have asked to see the booth again, and I promise I will be bringing the camera along the next time that I go restock and give you a more full tour of it. Thank you to those of you who have been so kind and encouraging about this new adventure. It took so many years to be able to get to the point where we could do this and have the time and money to be able to put into a booth. So I'm very thankful that this dream has came to life. I've talked about having an antique booth since we lived in our very first apartment and it's crazy that we are finally here. Okay, we are now in grandma's attic thrift store and I loved these red ironstone transferware dishes. These didn't have a price, 
but I thought they were just stunning. I love pieces like this. Very cottage core, grandma core. And then I always keep an eye out for any type of ironstone or white dishes. This Johnson Brothers gravy boat was only $4.50 and then they had a whole section full of interior design books and a lot of these were cottage style and just everything that I love. I loved this whole area and I'm probably going to go back and pick up a couple of these but I have so many decorating books that I really didn't need any but I also thought they might be good to go in the booth so I might go back and get a few more just perfect for layering as coffee table books to go on a bookshelf and then also to look through to get inspiration a lot of those are just very much the style that i love the country cottage the english cottage so i was super excited to see all of those decorating books and they also had a ton of cookbooks as well you all know how much i love these mini creamers so i was super excited to spot those and i also love any type of colored glassware so these green depression glass plates were just stunning Okay, I'm so excited for this thrift haul. 2024's thrifting trips have already been off to such a good start. I have so much to share that I could have separated it into two separate hauls, but I'm just really excited to go ahead and start using these finds, wash them up and put them out, decorate with them and use them. So I don't wanna wait any longer. I just wanna share everything all in one video. So it's gonna be long and it's already starting to get dark out, but I'm gonna to try to go through it pretty quickly and share everything with you. And then I also wanna insert clips of how we're gonna use these pieces. And then I also got a couple furniture pieces that I'm excited about to go in the booth. And I'm gonna say, those and share them at the end and kind of give you like my ideas for how we're going to fix those up so i'm very excited let's go ahead and get started with the saint Teresa's thrift finds first i grabbed these beautiful mugs here these are homer laughlin mugs they were only 49 cents each they have such incredible pricing on their um like dishware and mugs glasses things like that all of their Homeware items have really, really good prices at St. Teresa's Thrift Shop that's located in Bowling Green if you are local. And I just love that store. I actually met a really sweet subscriber in there. And Stephanie, if you're watching this, thank you so much for saying hi. It was so nice to meet you. And you made mine and my husband's day. She was absolutely so sweet. Um, but this is the first thing that we grabbed, these little mugs. And then I also grabbed these adorable little teacups. I've really been loving red recently. 
as much as i love the blues i'm also starting to kind of love incorporating red as well to kind of go along with those like dusty blue colors because i feel like it looks very cottage just very grandma core um everything that i love cottage style i feel like goes with the red these would be so precious hung like this i really want to figure out a way to hang mugs under our kitchen cabinets how cute would that be i love the details on these and these were only 69 cents each next from there i found these butter pats and i've been on the hunt for some little ironstone butter pats for so long that are in this small size that are perfect for layering and i don't think i've ever came across any that are this tiny so i love these they were 29 cents each they don't have a stamp on the bottom but some of them are like discolored and they're just really really pretty so i'm excited to use these in my hutch and then i found this whole set of these gorgeous ribbed mugs how beautiful are these glasses this is probably one of my most favorite thrift finds of the year so far i'm just so excited about these they were 99 cents each they are made in italy and they're just the most gorgeous vintage mugs i have ever seen i love these i cannot wait to use them oh my goodness my new absolute favorite mugs and there was a set of 12 of them so i got all 12 and i'm so excited to have these in our collection um i have a love for ribbed glasses i'll insert a little clip of some of the ones i've collected so far and so to find like a mug version of the ones that have already thrifted is just so 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 exciting to me so i love those okay i had to pull my hair into a braid for the rest of this video it just keeps it pulled back and out of the way um but the next thing that i found is this sugar bowl it is an ironstone sugar bowl and it was $2.99. I love to think of all the different ways to use these. Um, not only the original way that it can be used, of course, to hold sugar, but also in a bathroom with cotton balls, Q-tips, bath salts. Um, you could do it in an office with paper clips um, and pens pencils office supplies there's just so many ways that you can use these that way they can be functional if you love those really unique vintage touches but then you also want something to be functional and useful um, you can switch out your organization for beautiful pieces like this and then again they'll also have a use so i love to think of all the different ways to use these little pieces and i think this would just be gorgeous on a desk or a vanity and then i'll share with you my finds from grandma's attic my first find is this basket you all know my love of baskets and i love the shape and the handle on this one it was 250 such a pretty one and then i also grabbed this one here that has some little treasures in it um and this one was a dollar fifty i love the handles on this one as well and then inside we have a bunch more goodies from grandma's attic i found this creamer for a dollar you all know how much i love these creamers and these are going to go in my mini creamer collection over here in my hutch again i'll share with you at the end where all these pieces go and then the next one that i found is this little tiny tiny one i have one almost just like this actually i think i have two that are just like this and i'm so excited to add another one to the collection it was 50 cents so so precious um and then next is this beautiful gravy boat i got this for 450 and it is a johnson brothers gravy boat i love the unique shape of it and again i love to think of ways to make this functional as well like in a bathroom with q-tips or bath bombs it would be so pretty however you want to use it in your home it would be beautiful i just love pieces like this so much and any type of creamy white dish like this i love to collect if it's really unique and in a style that goes with the rest of my decor and then i found this gold picture frame for only a dollar i was so excited about this find i like how it has this little detail at the top here and in the back is this beautiful 
brown velvet and I like that you can hang it or you can just prop it up. So, so pretty for just a dollar. And also think of all the different ways that you can use these other than just a photo. For example, you can frame doilies, um, postcards. I've seen people frame like little napkins, uh, like vintage napkins. And um, I also had one of you comment recently that you get cards from the Dollar Tree and frame those. And that is such a good idea too. Thank you so much for sharing that because Dollar Tree has beautiful cards. You could frame one of those. You could print out your own picture and it doesn't have to be a picture like a family portrait. It could be um, a picture of landscape, outside, trees, just a picture that you have on your phone. You could like put it to black and white to make it kind of look vintage. Um, you could cut a page out of a magazine, print something off of Pinterest. There are so, so many options of what you can put in these and I just love to collect old vintage frames. So I'm always trying to think of new ideas of things that I can display in them and use them for. So hopefully that can give you some ideas as well and then the next find was so exciting I found this beautiful framed piece here and how gorgeous is she it's starting to get dark out so I apologize for the dark lighting um but how incredible is this frame it was $2.50 and I just love her and if you are on like the thrifting side of Instagram um you have probably seen this and the first thing that I thought of whenever I saw this is how people have been putting like magnets on the back of these little frames and putting them on the side of their fridge because it's just like the perfect little spot to add in um, a tiny frame to add a vintage touch into your kitchen. And I have been wanting to collect some little frames to do that with. So I thought that that would be perfect for this um, to put some little magnets on it and it can go on the side of the fridge. And then I want to find some other ones to like go with it. But I just think she is gorgeous and I love the frame it's so so pretty okay that is everything from grandma's attic and now let me go grab all the stuff from goodwill okay from goodwill one of the first things i found is this tiny little brass bell it was a dollar 99 and i just think this is so so beautiful um to stack on some books to go in a hutch I love anything brass and I just have never seen a tiny tiny little brass bell before so I really loved that and decided to get it and then next my husband actually found this and I was like where did you find that sometimes you can walk past an aisle so many times and then not see everything so be sure to go back through check high and low and in between behind stuff he found this behind something and i had just walked down that aisle and not even spotted this and he looked behind something and this was sitting there so absolutely don't forget to check every single section at the thrift store this was 2.99 and it's brass it's so so pretty and i love these little plant misters for spring this already has me just so excited to get all the spring stuff in a couple months it's gonna be fun to decorate with so i'm excited about that find okay next i picked up this wexford butter dish i've seen these a lot and i just decided to get it at goodwill because it was only 3.99 and it kind of inspired me um, whenever I found my cake plate that I was so excited to add to our kitchen that kind of inspired me to kind of refresh our kitchen for the new year and bring in a few more vintage pieces into there just to kind of give it a new look and again refresh the space um, so when I spotted this I kind of thought that they would match and coordinate with each other so I'm going to be putting um, butter in this to go on the counter like I said it was $3.99 it's just so pretty it had no chips or imperfections so I was really excited about that find and then these next few finds also kind of go along with that little kitchen refresh idea. I saw this and I thought it would just be so precious on the counter with wooden utensils in it. And I can switch out my white one that I have for this just to kind of add like a cozy wintry feel. It was $4.99 and I love the little blue heart on it. Just so, so sweet. Very cottage. This just felt like a very um cottage kitchen staple piece right here to put your utensils in and another thing to keep in mind if you see pieces like this and maybe the heart isn't your style or something you would go for don't forget that you can always use pieces in different ways turn this around and this kind of looks like one of those expensive um, pottery pieces that would be at target or home goods for much more expensive you could use it as a planter and put some greenery in it or even a real plant 
whatever your style is that you would like to do with this or use it as a crock in your kitchen. Um, I just feel like this is very, this stone color right now is very popular and something that you would see again at Target or Home Goods for much more expensive. So definitely always keep in mind that you don't have to always use the front of pieces. Um, but again, that's just very cottage to me. So I absolutely love the little heart. And then next in the linen section, I did not expect to come across this. It's just one of those pieces I wasn't looking for, but the second that I saw it, I knew that it belonged in our kitchen. And it is this ticking stripe dish towel. It's 100% cotton and it has no stains. It's in perfect condition and it's just the absolute most perfect country cottage little dish towel. And I love that it also has like the little um, hook right here if you want to hang it. This is just my all time favorite color and I love it. I think it was, I believe $1.99. So that's going to go in the kitchen. And then this piece, this and then like my crystal um, cake stand, if you kind of see what I'm going for. And then our new little mugs also really match the whole look. So I'm so excited. My last Goodwill find is this adorable straw crossbody bag. I thought this was so cute. It was $5 and it is the Madewell brand. I thought this would be so adorable with spring outfits and then also to style in my decor. So I was excited about that little straw bag find. I've never found one like this. So I just thought it was really, really pretty. And then next I have two really beautiful artwork pieces. And one of them is from the Salvation Army. And then the other one is from Barron River Consignment. And I'm very excited about these. So this is the one from Salvation Army. I hope that you'll be able to see it okay with the lighting but it's this gorgeous painting and look at that price 75 cents I could not believe when I spotted this I'm not in love with the frame so I did get some antique gold Robin buff that I'm gonna try to use on this frame and to give it like a more antique vintage look and it will also match with all of my other brass and gold decor a lot better than this dark wood wheel. So I'm going to try that out and hopefully it works. But look at that painting. I'm in love with artwork pieces like this. And for only 75 cents, I'm so excited to add that to our home. Um, I have some ideas of where I'm going to put these. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then the next piece is this gorgeous... Paul Sawyer painting. I love his watercolor paintings so much. He's a painter from um, Lexington, Kentucky, and it has, or I'm sorry, Frankfort, Kentucky, and it has here on the back um, the authentication of the painting and kind of like a little descriptive um, paragraph about why he painted this and what it means and all of that. It's this beautiful, beautiful scene. I love this so much and again I'm going to try to antique the frame to make it look a little bit more my style with the gold so we'll see how that turns out. This was $5.99. Okay that is it. That is everything that I found on this thrift trip and tomorrow I'm going to come back and I'm going to share with you in this video how I use these pieces and we're going to decorate so I can't wait for that and I'll see you tomorrow when we decorate. <laughs> Okay, really quick before we get into the decorating, I'm going to share with you our favorite at home photo printer. I filmed this back in December, but I'm excited to be working with Lene today in this video. And then after this, we're going to add one of these photos that I print into that new frame that I thrifted. If you watch my channel, you all know how much I love my Lene photo printer, and I'm going to be sharing it with you again today. I'm printing out some Christmas pictures to go in my Christmas journal using my Lene printer, and this Lene portable photo printer is so user-friendly. It's compatible with iPhone, Android, and PC. It prints out beautiful, colorful 4x6 photos that are amazing quality because of the thermal dye sublimation that it uses to print the photos. You just simply connect the printer using the Wi-Fi hotspot and download the app. There 
are no additional cables or Bluetooth required. I'm printing some of our pictures from Christmas Day last year and then also this year's Thanksgiving pictures and I'm filming this video before this year's Christmas but I also plan to print out our Christmas pictures that we take this year and add them to this journal as well and label them and add all the details. Um, I'm also going to add some of our Christmas recipes to this journal and some fun things like that. I just love that I can now add our own personal photos to all of my scrapbooks and journals using this portable photo printer right from home. And I wanna be on the hunt for some thrifted frames for the rest of these photos that I printed. I wanna find a few more little gold frames like I found in the past and layer them on a bookshelf with some of these pictures in them. Um, so I'm gonna still be on the hunt for some of those. Thank you again so much, Lene, for partnering with me for today's video. I'm truly a huge supporter of their photo printer and I think it's so perfect for you. If you are someone who loves to print photos, it would also make an amazing gift. I know that Christmas has already passed for this year by the time you all are seeing this. Um, however, it would make an amazing Mother's Day gift or Christmas next year for a loved one if you know someone who loves to scrapbook again or journal or just print pictures out to have in your home of memories. Um, thank you again, Lene, and I will have everything linked down below for you to check them out. Now, like I had mentioned, I had been on the hunt for some more gold frames to add some of our photos in. So I was really excited to find this one like you saw for a dollar. And I'm gonna add one of our Christmas pictures to this that we took this year. And I'm gonna add this over to the bookshelf. I don't know if this is the exact shelf that I will leave these on, but I want to have like a layered look of some of our photos in these vintage frames. I think it's so pretty and it adds a personal touch to our decor. So this is where I put them for now. I thrifted this tiny gold one a few months ago and I just love how they look layered on this bookshelf. These white Homer Laughlin mugs look so pretty in our kitchen hung on this peg rail. I love how the handles of these are big so they'll fit over these pegs. Normally the cups and mugs that I find are too small to hang here so I really like how that looks over in this area. And then I'm gonna add this new crock over here with these wooden utensils in it. I feel like this adds a very cozy cottage wintry feel into the kitchen so i love this little switch out and then i'm also going to add our new butter dish over here with some butter in it and i love these two paired together added some magnets to the back of this frame and here's how our little Victorian lady looks on the side of the fridge. I love the vintage feel that this brings over to the coffee area and to the side of the fridge over here. And then I'm also going to share with you how I used this tiny creamer in my hutch along with those butter pats. And then we're going to move along and I'm going to share with you how I redo these little frames. Here's a look at them before. Again, very pretty, but I feel like they will match our home so much better with a gold frame. So I got this antique gold rub and buff from Amazon and I'm just gonna put a glove on, clean these frames up and start to add this rub and buff and it absolutely transformed these frames. They look so much better now and I feel like they were made to be gold. They just look so pretty.
Okay, now let's get these frames hung. I have this blank wall here in the kitchen. I've always wanted to find something for this spot and I've tried multiple things over the years and I never loved anything here. So I decided that I was gonna try these frames here and kind of layer them, the small one above the big one. And I love how it turned out. I think that these just absolutely bring together this whole area and they make the kitchen feel so much more cozy. tables that we thrifted I got the little sewing machine table for $12.99 and then the taller pedestal table was $14.99 and we are just going to clean these up really well and then polish them with some furniture polish or probably like mineral oil um, we have a few different polishes that we like to use to clean up wood to kind of bring them back to look new again I just want to like enhance the wood as you can see that smaller one really just needs um, some conditioning so that is what we're going to do with these and then put them in the booth again when I go and take these I will bring the camera along and share with you how they look in there and kind of how I decorate them um, right now we are snowed in so I haven't been able to get out to the booth but I promise I will bring you along when I take these and restock. Okay, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this longer style thrift with me video where we go thrifting and then at the end I share with you how I use all the items. I think these are so fun to watch to get an idea of how you can use the pieces in your home. If these are something that you want to look for at the thrift store, it can inspire you with ideas of how to use them once you bring them home. But let me know if that's something that you enjoy and you want to see more of in the future because I want to do lots more of these. Also, there were a few pieces from this haul that I didn't share where I put just yet because there were so many so I'm gonna save the rest of the pieces for my next video and I'm gonna share with you how I decorate with the rest of the items so stay tuned for that next video to see them and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next one